What? A stone the size of a golf ball flew past my head. Rats, he found me. I should have taken the stolen fish to a quieter spot. But I was starving. I never should have tried to scarf it down so fast. There was no time now, I realized, and picked up my half-eaten smelt and ran. Thief, thief, that cat did it again. I could hear the voice coming closer. The rock missed again. Worse aimed than the first one. At least he wasn't going for my legs. Those were the worst. If one ever got me in the head, well, of course, it could knock me out, but that never happened. The first one would fly over my head. The second time, they'd try to aim better, but they wouldn't put as much power into it. If the first one hit my legs, I could still limp away, but I'd be an easier target, and then the next rock could be lethal. Whatever. When rocks started flying, you had to hightail it, and you had to dodge to the left or the right of the direction they were heading in. There was no stopping for a breath or to think about strategy. A moving target was harder to hit, but you know that, right? Run, run, to the left, to the right. I headed for human crowds. That was a good way to stop the rocks. Evening shoppers, always a good bet. All you had to do was slip in and you'd be home free. I sped out from behind the fish shop and into the crowded street. I zipped through legs, most of them as thick as big daikon radishes, and just kept running. Whoops, a pointy heel. One of those steps on you and wow, it hurts. It wasn't the first time that fishmonger had launched rocks at me, but he usually quit after one or two. Today, he wasn't giving up. Wasn't he busy enough without chasing a cat? Must have hit a nerve today. I could just turn the corner at the flower shop. There was an alley with a fence at the end of it. And beyond the fence, lots of places to hide. I mean, it wasn't my house or my garden, but you know us cats. Your yard is my yard. The whole town is our yard. But that's enough talk for now. It was time to make a dash. Took a wide right and almost ran into a bucket from the flower shop. There were only a couple more meters to the fence. And no! The little fence had been replaced with a concrete wall. If I backed up a bit and took a run at it, I should have been able to jump over it. But there was no time. The alley I'd just turned into was a dead end. Should I go for the wall or make a U-turn? Just then, I heard a crash and a splash. I whipped around to see the fishmonger on the ground covered in water. He would tripped over that bucket. This was my chance. I reversed direction and headed straight toward my pursuer, who was laid flat out on the ground. He tried to jump up. But I flew right over his head and back out onto the shopping street. Finally safe, I thought. But I was sadly mistaken. The fishmonger pulled himself to his feet with a furious expression on his face. He picked up a mop and took after me, the water squishing in his boots. This looked bad. I had to get away. Then I saw it. Just beyond the fish shop, there was a truck with a cover on the back. The driver was getting in to leave. I could see an opening in the cover. I ran for it. Behind me, I could hear the mop whooshing through the air, water splashing in the boots, and the fishmonger yelling unintelligibly. It was three meters to the truck. The engine revved up. Two meters. The truck pulled away from the curb. Jump! Just as I leapt into the air, something whacked the back of my head, and I fell into the back of the truck. Everything went black. I wasn't sure if the drone I could hear was from the engine of the truck or the inside of my head. Thank you.